Hello dear friends, today I am going to read from Raymond Williams's masterpiece Structures of Feeling, which is a modern Marxist classic. So life is lived forwards but understood backwards in retrospect. So Raymond Williams says that life is quite an immovable thing. Life is rigid, it has solid patterns. The systems are already in place, whether in literature, culture, the forms are already formed. So we operate from within this structure. But this structure cannot explain experience. Experience is a process. Life is lived. That experience cannot easily be explained away by uh, resorting to the already established forms of structures. So feeling has a different kind of structure. That's the first thing Raymond Williams says. And the second thing is that the structures of feeling almost correspond to literature and culture and the arts. So the change, the revolution, the flux that occurs at least in the Western context, are extremely correlated to art and literature and culture. So art and literature and culture almost reflect or represent or themselves embody the change that is happening in terms of experience and feeling. So like a river that flows, the river that you saw a second moment ago is not the river that you are witnessing at present. So likewise, life is changing, life is in flux. At the same time, there are extremely rigid formal structures of history and polity and state and language and kinship. But out of these things, there is some kind of a superstructure that has a degree of relative autonomy that can move. This is what can be called structures of feeling. So structures of feeling are in flex. They can change. They correspond to art and literature and culture. So two things. The first thing we have to understand is the idea of Alfred North Whitehead's process philosophy. So life is understood as a process, as not something that has already been formed. And the second thing is that the Marxist idea of a revisionist Marxism proposed by Althusser, structuralist Marxism says that there is a superstructure and there is a base. Political economy is the base and art, culture and literature uh, form the superstructure. The superstructure has relative autonomy. It is not always determined by the base. So these two concepts are extremely important to understand Raymond Williams's idea of structures of feeling. So structures of feeling, at least in the Western context, where systems are extremely stable and rigid, provide some kind of flex, change and potential for a revolution. Thank you.